Hello, everyone. Once again, thank you so much for your time. Today, I'd like to start a new discussion on analog modulation. On my previous video, I mentioned what is modulation, why we need modulation, and the two types of modulation. Today, we are going to discuss the first type of modulation, which is analog modulation. In the analog modulation, it actually further classified into amplitude modulation, frequency modulation, and also phase modulation. Our topic for today's discussion will be the part one series of amplitude modulation. This is my email. If you have any question regards on today's discussion, please drop me an email. Before I continue, I'd like to urge you guys to support this channel by pressing the like and subscribe buttons. Please also turn on your notification bell in order to receive more information from this channel. Thank you so much. Firstly, let's define what is amplitude modulation. In amplitude modulation, which is also known as AM, the modulating signal, which is the theta or also the information that we want to send to the recipient, they are actually used to modulate the amplitude of the carrier signal. The top and bottom envelope of the modulated carrier have the same shape as the modulating signal. In another words, the amplitude of the carrier is made to change according to the shape of the modulating signal. The modulated carrier frequency remains unchanged at the carrier frequency. Okay, let's take a look on this diagram. This is a modulated signal. This is time versus the amplitude. Okay, from this diagram, you can see that the frequency of the modulated signal is exactly the same as the frequency of the carrier signal as mentioned in this line here. He mentioned that the top and bottom envelope of the modulated carrier, okay, they have the same shape as the modulating signal, which means that at the envelope of the modulated signal, this is actually the modulating signal, which I'm going to illustrate on the next few slides on this amplitude modulation. Let's discuss this amplitude modulation. Right in the middle of this page is the amplitude modulation. You can see that there are two inputs. One is the modulating signal. Like what I mentioned earlier on, modulating signal is also known as phase band or intelligent signal. This is the information that we want to send over to the recipient. This is the carrier, like the name imply. The carrier is used to help to carry the information over to the recipient. Okay, they don't contain any information, but the main role of carrier is to simply aid to carry the information like modulating signal over to the recipient. Okay, you can see from these two signals here, typically a carrier signal has a frequency much, much, much higher as compared to the modulating signal. The reason is because from my previous video, okay, you know that the higher the frequency, the size of the antenna can be greatly reduced. And also by properly control the frequency of the carrier, you can also minimize the interference. As mentioned, most of the time, let's say we send over our voice, they typically has almost the same frequency. And if we send this raw material from here all the way to the recipient, then all our voice will be interfered and we probably can't listen to any voice. However, with the carrier and by properly control the frequency of the carrier, this actually can aid to carry our information from one place to another place. So from here, you can see that at the output of the amplitude modulation, which is the modulated signal. Okay, so this modulated signal actually carry the information now. As I mentioned on the previous slide, you can see from this modulated signal, it has a high frequency. In fact, the frequency is 
exactly the same as the carrier. And then, like what I mentioned, high frequency, small antenna size. And also, we can actually easily recover our original modulating signal by following the envelope of this signal. Okay, so this is the signal that we send over the air to the recipient. Like what I mentioned, okay, we are not keen to receive this information. The information, in fact, look like this. And what we need to do is we just trace the envelope. Okay, we can easily recover the original information that we have earlier on. So this is what is amplitude modulation. Okay, illustrate here, the top and bottom envelope, it has the same shape as the modulating signal. So this is what I mean, you copy the envelope, you will be able to recover exactly the modulating signal. Okay, so next, I'm going to put further discussion on this amplitude modulation. Now I change the modulating signal in the form of square pulse. So you can see from here, this thing look like almost like a square. Okay, so this is the carrier. The carrier doesn't carry any information at this moment. Okay, so this is the modulated signal. You can see over here, the modulated signal has exactly the same frequency as the carrier. And at the envelope, it actually contains the modulating signal. Can you see over here? This is actually the modulating signal. So when I actually transmit, this is the data that I transmit over the air. Like what I mentioned, I'm not keen to recover this signal. I only want to trace the envelope and recover exactly the same modulating signal. So this is amplitude modulation. Okay, so I'm going to use further illustration okay, on amplitude modulation. Okay, so I'm going to use a cosine or sine wave to illustrate this. So this is a modulating signal. Okay, so the modulating signal can be expressed in this equation. For this video, okay, let's not discuss so much on the equation. Okay, but you can see from here, this is the V peak. Okay, the peak actually determines the loudness of the information. Okay, so the information loudness is actually depends on the V peak. Okay, or the amplitude. Okay, this FM, which is the frequency of the modulating signal. Okay, this actually belongs to the pitch. Okay, for example, for girls, they typically have a higher pitch as compared to guys. So this is what you mean here. So it actually measures from one cycle to another cycle. Again, this will not be discussed on this video. Okay, so this is the modulating signal. This is the carrier. Okay, you can again you can see that. The carrier has a higher frequency as compared to the modulating signal. So you can anticipate that this FC is much, much bigger as compared to FM. M belongs to modulating C for carrier. So this is a modulated signal. Okay, so like what I mentioned, at the envelope contain exactly the same as the modulating signal. And now with this, I actually can have high frequency. And with high frequency, the size of an antenna will be small and attractive. And I also can properly control the frequency of the carrier. Can you see over here? If I control the frequency of the carrier, I can also send the information over with minimum interference. So this is all what is about amplitude modulation. With this, I'd like to stop my discussion. Please help to like and subscribe. Thank you so much.